Hi, welcome back to Pixie's Projects. I'm here today to show you a copy of Soar by Karen Su Chen, and it's an adult coloring book for bird lovers. Um, most of you know I'm not really a bird lover, but it was one of the coloring books that I won from her contest. So I'm just going to get started on it. It's a Amazon printed paper. It's the matte cover, and it's an 8.5 by 11. And this is, oops, her website and her social media information in case you want to follow her. And then let's just get started. I will say there were a few pages in here that I saw that I really wanted to color. This is from 2021. So it's not, you know, it's pretty new. And we have our note from the author. Oh, see, and this is about her bird in 1999 and then again in 2021. So that's very cool. And we've got this little puffin. And a very dark or uh, blacked out peacock, but I do like the cherry blossoms. That's the cover. No, we have some cherry blossoms on the cover, but it isn't this. <clears throat> Pardon me. And we have a woodpecker and some mushrooms, cactus, and hummingbirds. Those, I would probably color that. I would definitely color this. You always get me with the mushrooms. I'll deal with a bird if there's something else I like in it. And I know there's plenty of people who love to color birds. I'm just, it's one of the few things that I'm not into. They, they Birds kind of creep me out a little bit, so. It's the part of the zoo I usually don't get into. Oh, the other thing I've not noticed or not mentioned here is that on the backs of each page, because I was like, I wonder what these guys are, but I forgot on, on the backs it tells you. So these are a black crowned crane so they do she does give you the information as to what you're there's the cover photo okay she does give you the information as to what you're looking at bird wise which you know i would i wouldn't have no idea if, if she didn't tell me for most of them like i think that's a road runner and it is so i'm winning that obviously we've got some penguins this is going to be a nice winter picture. Not that I don't, I'm at a point where I don't want to color any, any kind of winter, anything right now. I just want to start thinking about spring. You know, we're almost through February. So hopefully soon. I don't like the composition of this. I'm not, that's, I mean, that's a lot of birds, but I still like how it looks. This is neat with the uh, landscapes on his wings, kind of like he's tattooed. And I do like this picture. Okay, these guys are wild. What are they called? These are Victoria crowned pigeons. Hmm. This is one of the ones I said I was going to color the dodo. I don't know why, I just like it. Is that one of these pigeons again? No, this is a whole other thing. This is called a hoopo. Hmm. A toucan, I think. Yeah. And these are budgies. Mm-hmm. See, it's not too bad. I, I know some of them. This guy looks like he has a pine cone on his forehead. He is an Amazonian royal flycatcher. All right. And we've got some feathers and eggs. Another guy I don't know. Brown pelican. This looks like more budgies. Oh, no, they're parrots, so they're like giant budgies, right? I don't know. If you know, you can let me know in the comments. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really well versed on birds. These look like turkeys. Guinea fowl. Yeah, I'm not, I guess I shouldn't get a test on birds. I wouldn't do too good. And that is the end of this book by Karen Su Chen. And again, it's called Soar. 
and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.